Motorcycle Live 2018. I'm here with probably one of the most laid back TT riders on the planet, James Hillier. Now, James, not only are you here, obviously, you've, you've got your own stand here selling some goodies, but you've been hobbling around a little bit. You've been back in hospital. Yeah, yeah, I had to go. I went home midweek for a little operation to have some metal removed from my leg, and um, it's made, made it a little bit hard getting around the, these last few days, but. Um, I suppose it's a, a form of rehab, I guess, limping around and um, work's got to be done. So I'm here to, just to get on with it and, and crack on. So basically an old injury, some metal work to, to, to come out to get your fit ready for 19. Yeah, that was the plan. It's always hard trying to fit the operation in away from race season and uh, it should have been done years ago, really. But, uh, you know, I, they offered me this date and I had to take it and didn't quite go to plan. They couldn't get out what they wanted to, but they've took the screws out now and it should be an improvement. So... Uh, I suppose it's part of the parcel of being a motorcycle racer, isn't it? You've got to live around these things. Highs and lows, yeah, it is what it is. <laughs> right, now, of course, you've been with the same team for quite some time. You've been riding the Kawasaki's, you know, you're, you're kind of the official, really, the official guy that's been, uh, you know, sort of uh, showcasing the, the ZX-10 for, for quite some time. Are you staying with the same team for 10? At the moment, that's the, the plan. It's not a sealed deal as yeah. yet, but um, that's the, the plan. You know, I still... I believe in the team. I believe in myself, and we haven't quite had the got the best out of it yet. But uh, it's tricky because I've been there for so long. I kind of get itchy feet a little bit, and I kind of want to feel what the sort of grass feels like on the other side. But whether you know, I, it's, I, I don't know. I really don't know. It's sort of a funny, funny thing, really. And you hear horror stories and speak to other riders. You know, they try something else, it doesn't work. But it's better the devil you know as they say and um, we're just working now to get that finalised and, and stay put really and, and kind of carry on where we left off really now of course you know a very successful team at BSB and you know it's a great package and I don't know, you know we've spoken about it before and you said you, you, you'd probably wouldn't be quite sure you got to the end of the career and you haven't tried something different but if you're happy hey you need to be right and you're within your own mind to be fast anyway yeah, that's that's it. You know, you've got to be sitting on the start line, feeling content with the team around you and the bike you're sat on. Which, you know, I'm not saying that can't be felt with somebody else, but you know, you probably I've probably just got a bit too comfortable where I am in a way, and yeah. the, you know, but I've got no reason to leave. That's the big the big thing. It's just more me getting itchy and a bit agitated, just wanting to try something different. Um, the team's great, and we've grown together, and, and you know, it's a strong team. Uh, you know, from the outside looking in, from a from a commentator's point of view, you know, looking and James Hilly is always a guy that gets the TT steady away, chipping away, gets faster and faster through practice, and then gets to race week and does the same again, sets off sort of steady and gets faster and faster towards the end of the week at the senior. And I don't know, maybe if you went to a different team, you might have a bit more fire in your belly to get on the pace earlier. Yeah, I guess you know. You That's almost, not being critical. No, yeah. you know, I almost become a bit blase with it a bit lazy you know and maybe take my time too much i need a bit of a you know a bit of a, a wild dog out the cage type thing to kind of get stuck in from the go uh, but I, you know i'm quite a laid back sort of person really i, 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 I don't know I, I just um ultimately it's about feeling good and feeling right with what you're doing and who you're riding with so uh for now that's the plan is to stay stay put of course, from what I just said, we know you're fast enough to be on a top step of the boat and on the superbike. But it, so for 2019, what's the ideal season for you? We uh, obviously the pace up this year. You know, it's going to make it. That's the the way things are going to go and continue to be. The the TT pace has certainly stepped up. Dean and Peter sort of taking it to the next level. But the way I look at it as uh, the 600 pace, my 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 riding was good, and, and I can run it on the 600. And I believe totally, if the bike's good, then I can take it to them on the big bike. It's um, it's just about having, having everything as good as it can be, and feeling confident enough to go with it. And then the times come for sure. So obviously, you've had a bit of maintenance done. How long are you going to be out of action before you can throw your leg over and have a spin around a, a racetrack? <laughs> couple of weeks hopefully I'm uh, I want to get back out I'm itching to get her back out on the enduro bike and it's a little bit of a blessing in a way because the the rod's still in which means the, the bone still has strength I was really yeah. paranoid about it being weak and then not being able to ride for months possibly so at least now I can get out riding sooner and um, it won't hold me back too much well hopefully we'll see you back where you belong of course on that Kawasaki and uh, getting towards uh, Getting towards the TT, of course, and, and being very competitive as usual. Good luck for 19, Thank mate. you. Thanks.